but the real key to it is get the right weapons to the Free Syrian Army. We know who they are. The Saudis have been getting the weapons to the right people. If we did it in sizable amounts, they can still prevail. Why this matters in North Korea? Why this matters in Israel? Why this matters in Tehran? Or Jordan. What? Yeah, or Jordan. Well, of course, you know, they're, they're teetering and, and in Lebanon. And, of course, Iraq, which has deteriorated. More killing is going on right now in Iraq than had, has taken place since 2008. And it's now become a center of al-Qaeda moving back and forth. Look, things are going to hell in a handbasket here. He joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, well, I know it's classified, so we can't hear all of it, sure. but we can hear some of it. Um, were you satisfied? I thought it was a good briefing, and my takeaways were that the ISIS is mounting uh, an at attempt to attack us abroad, and they're trying to drive us out. They're trying to destroy Israel, kill every Christian in the Mideast, or drive them out, make every Muslim bend to their will, and they see us as an impediment to that. They, well, they're telling us they're going to hit us. One quick question. Is that what you got out of the briefing tonight? I got out of the briefing tonight that the stronger they get in Iraq, the more likely we are to get hit. If you don't do anything, another 9-11 in how, larger do you con how do you convince the American people of that? Because, you know, like, you know, that's at home, American us, Americans. Yes, I mean, it's pretty clear that their agenda includes more than Iraq. They're going to go into Jordan unless someone stops them, and that's the last moderate voice in the Mideast. But the takeaway was that this group is very much interested in hitting America. Well, why are we just learning that now? Well, I mean, I mean, if they, I take it that they didn't just decide last week to hit America, well, that that would be their plan. Director Clapper, the head of national intelligence, told us about two months ago, six weeks ago, that they represent a threat to the homeland. Thousands of Europeans and some Americans have gone to Syria. This all started in Syria. So my belief is if we hit them in Syria, where they're exposed, that airstrikes could really do damage to the leadership of this group in Syria, it might change the outcome in Iraq. And here's what I got from Iraq. There's a glimmer of hope that the Sunnis and the Kurds and the Shias feel threatened enough to form a new government that we could rally around, a government of the center. I think that has to happen before anything really changes in Iraq. Senator McCain says we should move right now with airstrikes. Here's the problem is that from what I understand talking to military experts <clears throat> is that you need, you need intelligence on the ground to show where to hit. See, that, that's the point. I think these troops going in on the ground will give us better targeting. But we know... Are you talking about these 300? Yes. The purpose is, is to find good information, not drop bombs randomly, know what you're trying to do. You don't want to blunder into this. We have made mistakes, but we are where we are. But in Syria, it's a different deal. We pretty well know where these training camps are at. We could de deliver a really strong blow to ISA ISIS in Syria, which I think would help us in Iraq, give us some momentum. But how, I mean, how's, I mean, that may handle it in Syria. I mean, which is one problem. But if you've got uh, ISIS already in Iraq it and, and March time. and... It, Buys you time because their supplies are coming from Syria. All right, um, the um, you know what American people are very war weary. I hope uh, they're not too worried to defend right. ourselves. You don't want to blunder into this. We have made mistakes. If if we do the airstrikes, we, you know what do you get? What do I get? What is you, you know what the rest of American people get? You can stop another 9/11 if you don't do anything. Another 9/11. In how, do you how do you convince the American people of that? Because, I mean, you, know, like, you know, that's, I mean, of course you say 9-11, we all get terrified. But, I mean, give me more proof. Do you believe that the people who are shooting folks in the head, killing children in front of their parents, beheading people by the hundreds, if not thousands, would not attack us if they could? I, I suspect, I mean, I don't have much, you know. If they have a safe haven in Syria and Iraq, they will use that safe haven to attack America. There is some hope to turn Iraq around. But Jordan is next. So you don't think they, they don't just build an Islamic state that they want to go on? If, if they've had all their great success in Iraq, let's say they built an Islamic state, there's Sharia law, that you think they want to come beyond and they want to come here to get us? They believe that the biggest impediment to building that Islamic state is American presence in the Mideast. They're trying to drive us out. They're trying to destroy Israel, kill every Christian in the Mideast or drive them out, make every Muslim bend to their will. And they see us as an impediment to that. They, they're telling us they're going to hit us. They're trying to destroy Israel. Kill every Christian in the Mideast. God help us all. They're telling us they're going to hit us. They're going to hit us. They're going to hit us. Is that what you got out of the briefing tonight? I got out of the briefing tonight that the stronger they get in Iraq, the more likely we are to get hit, and there's a chance to turn it around. We better act quickly. And one thing I got out of the briefing God help us all. Senator, thank you.